Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a quick update for everybody. First off, we recently lost an icon in the comic book community. Legendary creator Steve Ditko passed away. He was the co-creator of Spider-Man and numerous Spider-Man villains and also Doctor Strange. Uh, growing up, I was a huge fan of Spider-Man, of the comic books and the 90s cartoon. And even today, my kid recently got into the 60s cartoon, which is funny, but I'll accept it. And if you're here to watch some toy reviews, then it's likely you've been influenced by Ditko's work, whether you know it or not, so that's definitely a big loss. Which leads me to my next topic, I recently got a Marvel Legends Dr. Octopus. He's another character created by Steve Ditko. I'm definitely going to review Doc Ock. I just want everybody to know that while I might not get the toys before everybody else does, I'll still do a review on them to give you my own take on it. But what are some figures from 2018 that I have not reviewed that you would like to see? Let me know in the comments below. Secondly, I have to apologize and edit my last review. In the review for Ronin from the first 10 years wave, I said that he does not have double jointed elbows, but as many observant watchers noted, he does have a double joint. So for that I would like to apologize. Basically when I review and I open a figure, that's the live take. I'm opening the figure in front of the camera as I'm recording. Uh, so in my hurry to record that review, I, I, I didn't even notice the joint while I was looking through my screen, so that's my bad. Finally, don't forget to enter the Six Metal Claws contest. Check out this Magneto review for details on how to enter. And also, follow on Instagram at Toying Around for a second chance to win. Winners will be drawn this Friday, July 13th. I have links in the description below for the Marvel Legends Wolverine and Magneto figure, if you're still looking for them on Amazon. Those are my quick updates for this week. Keep toying around.